Hello YouTubers and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. So, for the ones who don't know me, my name is Andrea and I do what's for dinners, grocery hauls and vlogs around Prague. So today I bring you with me to the candy store here in Prague where you can find most of the American things that I use in my cooking videos. You know, I use a lot of American stuff and yeah, it's true that I, tr I did travel to US recently, but also many of the things that I use in my cooking videos you can find here as well as a lot of candy. So I find kind of interesting to show you these um, around Prague for the ones who live in Prague and don't know about it and maybe for the Americans that are missing something from home. So that's it, let's start with the video. So first of all here we have like an alley full of cereal and this is literally heaven like are you kidding me i was missing so many of this let's give it a look we have here the wrist puffs these ones are supposed to be like peanut butter cookie like cereals here we have the donuts powder mini donuts here you have the original Kellogg's Corn Flakes. I know it's so hard to find it here in Prague. Cheerio honey, whole grain, all the types of Cheerios that you can think of, as well as your Lucky Charm. For the prices, some of these cereals might seem more expensive than your average ones in US, but think that you're gonna be like, you know, they're imported and they have to pay taxes in Europe and everything, so that's why. And some of them are not that expensive. Frosted Krispies. Some of these brands I don't know because some of them are also British, so you can come and give it a look. And of course, here you have the normal Fruit Loops. Mm, I miss this stuff. As well, look at this jelly bean bar. It has all the flavors. And then you have there the mini bags so you can fill them up with the jelly beans. I believe this one, of course, is British. This like biscuits, Yorkshire. I'm like pretty, pretty sure those are British. I think all this part is kind of British besides the Maltese's. And as well in the fridge, we have all the Arizona teas for the ones that are missing that. And we have this one that actually looks kind of interesting. It doesn't. It's the Welch family owned sparkling strawberry cocktail. This one looks interesting, like for sure. I might give that one a try. Oh my gosh, they have Dr. Pepper Zero. Are you kidding me? I'm positive I'm gonna get a few cans of this. Are you kidding me? I've been missing this stuff like nothing else. This is so cool. They also have the Coca-Cola vanilla with zero sugar. I might give this one a try too. I know it, but I mean, I've been missing it. And I know these ones were kind of like new additions. It's like orange, orange vanilla ones from Coca-Cola. They do have them here as well. More for the pop or the soda, depending on where you're from. Um, here we have all the Fantas. We have fruit punch, peach, wild cherry, as well as Mountain Dew, which I know is super, super hard to find in Europe. And we have the more normal Fantas, and this one I've never seen before. That I think is Toronja das Grapefruit. Yum. Also, this uh, type of popcorn, the Jolly Time. Holy Time, Jolly Time, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, these ones are pretty much my favorite ones, but I know I can find them near my home. But they also have different flavors from those. That's the interesting about this store. It has the extra things. You see, like the sweet and crispy option, then like. Fun Mania, kind of sweet, kind of salty. Crispy and white. Oh, this looks great. I think I might grab one of these ones as well. Then of course, it's not an American store if you don't have Hershey's syrup. So here you have a strawberry, chocolate, caramel, and extra big. I know I use these for presents all the time, so all these candies that are so hard to find here. Well, now you know where to find them all. Also here, more chocolate. The Hershey's Cookies and Cream is pretty much my favorite chocolate and it's not super, super easy to find. Oh God, and they have these rice treats, yes. They have these ones with mini M&Ms and I think these ones are the chocolate chunk. Yeah, double chocolate, <laughs> chocolate tea chunk. 
Oh, snowballs. Yay, those are delicious too. Haven't seen some of these things in a while. You know, when living in the US, you don't tend to eat all of this, but once you're away, you kind of miss it. And here, of course, you have pop tarts as well for breakfast. You have here the blueberry ones, strawberry sensation. And here you have roasted strawberry sensation as well. Well, if you were wondering where to find Doritos, this is your place. They literally have um, the normal tangy cheese Doritos. They have the Cool Ranch, of course. And the red one that is a chili wave. I remember in Venezuela, the red one was a cheese one. And that literally threw me off at the beginning when I, when I started buying Doritos abroad. So here we have these um, brazil pieces. I know Jan loves these ones. So these ones, honey, mustard, onion. These ones are great. So for sure, I'm gonna give these a try. And I see over there some combos. That's also delicious. This is literally one of the best snacks ever. The pizza one. Yeah, these ones. These are pretty much the best, the best. You have your Twizzlers. Um, I think these ones are actually Twizzler nips or like pieces. Because it's not the full Twizzler, but this is delicious. I love this type of candy. And of course, down here you have your Nerds. That literally is anything better than Nerds. Like, you have so many flavors and literally I don't dislike not even one of them. Now here we have the strawberry marshmallow fluff that you know I already buy every day and I have one spoon of that every day. If you watch my video of what I eat in a day, I'm kind of absolutely addicted to this. It's delicious. And here it looks um, like a Japanese or an Asian side. You have here um, like this thingy to make your own desserts. I think we all have seen those videos on Instagram. They're all over the place. And then here you have like these barbecue Cheetos and these like spicy chicken Cheetos and some like ramen, but I'm not sure if they're ramen ramen or they're like candy ramen, to be honest. They might be real ramen. I don't know, everything is in Korean or Japanese, I really don't know. I might ask some friends that might be able to translate it for me. Now, back to the American stuff. So here we have some Sour Patch. I really don't love Sour Patch, I don't know why, but if you are a fan of it, it's right here. Where to find it, and as well, you can find here Pop Rocks, and I know they didn't sell these ones in Europe, like ever and anywhere. So I'm very excited for these ones. These ones are so fun to give like to your niece, nephews or kids or whatever. They're like so much fun. And if you don't know what they are, they literally like just take you by, by surprise. Here's some Kool-Aid. If you, if you didn't drink Kool-Aid when you were little, you missed out. It's literally the most delicious, less healthy drink ever. Of course here you have your jerky. Um, I love beef jerky. I got so much from you as if you saw my a Walmart grocery haul in US, you saw everything I got and we had so much beef jerky. I literally think one quarter of the hand luggage was full of beef jerky. But here you have uh, all the improved recipes, so I would have to give that a try. My favorite is teriyaki and as well as the original one and pepper, but I don't see pepper here. Now in the more baking area, they have the complete on Jemima. I brought a gigantic one of these ones, so I'm not going to be needing for a while as well as the maple syrup and Jemima as well, because um, I don't know, I've tried other brands here in Europe and I really don't like them. I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't. Here you have all your Betty Crocker, but I think this Betty Crocker with this presentation is actually British, but I've tried the Velvet Vanilla Cake Mix before and it's pretty similar to the one sold in America, so it does the same. And then as well, you have the icing. Like I literally don't even know how to make icing and I've been like icing my cupcakes ever since discovering this type of icing. Okay, if you lived in America before and then in Europe, you realize Europeans don't really eat gelatin and I love gelatin. I have jello all the time. It's the best snack ever and actually it's great for your skin and your hair, so you should have it more often. And here you can find that I know I come here once in a while to stock up. As well, we have here um, these like baggies of marshmallows. These ones are the normal ones that you can use for roasting. And these smaller ones that are actually perfect for your hot cocoa. I remember I did a hot cocoa video recently and I literally like just cut it, the big marshmallows into small pieces because I couldn't find the small ones. So now you know where to find them. So here are all your weird sauces that nobody in Europe know where they are. 
no i'm kidding but here you have your marmite if you are i think british and vegemite if you are from the australia and here you have bobril as well i didn't know that it was from uk i thought that it was american we do use bobril for doing uh, beef stock out of you know it's just like one spoon of these in water and you have beef stock and we also do uh, a drink that i don't remember the name now that it has vodka and that so it literally tastes like drunk soup it's very very nice and if you're british and you're missing like full meals look at this they have these like pies that come like ready to eat you just have to like they come canned and i guess you just have to like heat them up in the oven that's so so simple by the way they also have corn syrup that's great if you cook a lot of at home like i do you might need one of these ones in your kitchen because um they're great for certain recipes. For example, if you do your own homemade marshmallows, you need this. And over there, I see cream of mushrooms. I miss that so much. Like, so many crockpot recipes require these cream of mushrooms. So now you know they have them here. So here you have also some like um, spicy sauce. I know Jan would appreciate any of these ones, but I don't eat spicy, so I pretty much don't know any of them. I mean, I know these ones are for hot wings, that's the only thing I know. I might buy this to do some hot wings. Maybe not this week, but next week. Here uh, is the bisto. You know already this is just like um, instant gravy. And here you have also bisto for cheese sauce. I didn't know it existed. That's so interesting. Good to know. And here you have gravy that looks maybe more American. I'm not sure if this one is specifically American, but um, it looks like it might be. It looks good. As you have here, your Heinz and your Campbell soups, you have cream of celery, so, so needed for so many recipes. Gosh, I think I'm gonna stock on this in cream of chicken because those are great. And the New England clam chowder, I'm so happy. Okay, I brought three cans of clam chowder in my suitcase, so you know how much I love clam chowder. I know we're reaching to the end, and this is one of my favorite things in the world. You know how much I eat mac and cheese. Um, my husband doesn't love it, so that's good because then it's more for me. If you've never tried mac and cheese and you try it as an adult, you might not like it because it's literally baby food. But if you grew up eating this stuff when you were little, you definitely are gonna keep loving it forever. And here they have like uh, another brands of mac and cheese that I've never seen before, but they do have the normal craft ones. And then right here, I see that they do have liquid smoke that we also bought in US last time we went there. Um, this is great because it leaves, it gives the smokiness, like barbecue taste to anything that you put it on. It's great. And I also see here different types of barbecue sauce that look super, super interesting. Um, because we're, of course, already running out of the Budweiser one that we bought in that video. I'm going to leave it at the end of this video so you can check it out if you haven't because that was interesting. And they have A1 sauce. I love A1 sauce. I might buy one too, but I'm scared because Jan also loves A1 sauce and he might eat it all, to be honest. And I also see here some sweet relish. That's quite impressive. Um, I've never really seen relish here in Czech Republic, so I might buy one of those too. And now here, literally for the last, last part, we have here the part of the Cheetos. You have the Flaming Hot. Yeah, I love these ones and I love these ones, the crunchy ones. I'm completely insane, like completely crazy about those. And just like several fun things that I've seen around is like they have these like Harry Potter inspired thingies. Those are so nice and they have the magic wand as well. All these, I just think these all make like such great birthday presents or, you know, presents in general for like your friends. They just... They seem great. Oh, the way they have Splenda here as well. I know that's super, 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 super hard to find in here. Well, now you know where to find it. Okay, guys, so I think that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a bunch of things and then I'm just maybe gonna insert a small video of everything I bought just because, you know, I'm taking advantage that I'm here. And I wanted to point out something very, very cool is that I forgot my purse, my wallet at home. And I was like, oh no, and I wanted to buy things. And you know what? They take Apple Pay. So that's great. So you just have to bring your phone and pay with it. Yay! Hi, welcome to the candy store. This store has the widest range of American, British, and worldwide goodies. We've got three stores. 
All around Prague. Uh, the one we're at at the moment is at Prague 2. Londinska 81, Londinska. Uh, the second store is at Prague 6. And third store is Prague 5. You can also find us online at www.candy-store.cz. And you can find everything we have in the store online as well. So, I want to show you everything I got in the store. I thought um, there was not enough to like cut the video right there. I wanted to show you everything that I got because I really got excited and I bought a few things. <laughs> so first of all, they gave me this nice bag. Um, I'm showing the bag because remember that in Europe, it's not very normal that the stores will give you bags. So, you know, it's nice when they do. Otherwise, you usually have to buy it. So I'll show you one by one. So. First of all, I got these combos, blue cheese. I already opened them in the car. I had them before. Uh, they just didn't have the pizza ones in this big size, so I decided to go for these ones. You know, they're delicious. They're very tangy in flavor, a little bit spicy. They're very good stuff. Buff Buffalo blue cheese, that's the real name. This cereal, um, I honestly love this cereal and I haven't had it in like in forever. And also, I realized they didn't have crispy treats. Crispy treats? We call crispy treats? Crisp, yeah, crispy treats. You know, the little bars made out of cereal um, that they're supposed to be made with this one. They had the ones that had the M&Ms on them, but I'm, I'm a very vanilla girl. Like literally my favorite ice cream is like vanilla. I'm kind of boring in my candy. So I knew if I got, I bought this one, I was gonna be able to make my own crispy treats, so it's not just for eating it as a cereal, but to make the crispy treat bars, which I love. I bought this one, honey, mustard, and onion pretzel pieces for Jan, because he completely loves this stuff. So this is for him. Let's see. Oh, so many things. I bought these blueberry pop tart. I usually like I mean, don't judge me, but I usually like the more artificial Pop-Tarts, like, you know, Sunday Pop-Tart or, uh, I don't know, birthday cake flavor Pop-Tart. So I usually don't go for the, for the like blueberries or strawberry ones, but this one is frosted, so I like the frosted ones and they didn't have any of the other ones. So I was like, I'm gonna give this one a try. I've been missing Pop-Tarts for a while, so. Then I got some popcorn. I got this one that is normal white popcorn. I got this one that it says healthy butter. So it might be like better for you, I'm not sure. And I got this one that is the big cheese. I guess this one is the one that people like the most. It's my favorite. It doesn't taste like cheese to me. It tastes more like kilos of butter. I don't know, it tastes great, but it doesn't taste like cheese, but I love it. Like, don't get me wrong. And now John loves it too. Of course, I got some nerds as well, but I have to admit that you don't have to go to the candy store to get nerds. I know in many Potravinis and Ovots and Salenina stores, they do sell nerds here in Czech Republic. I got that Dr. Pepper. I told you I was gonna. I drank one in the car because that's me. And I got another four, so I bought five in total. Um, I've been craving Dr. Pepper like crazy and Coca-Cola doesn't do it for me, I'm sorry, it's not the same. Then I got some of these red hot wings. I'm gonna try to hide these from Jan because I really wanna make chicken wings, the spicy ones, and I know you have to dump like half of this to make them. Um, and when you see that recipe, you know where I got my sauce if you don't live in US. And I, nothing, I'm just gonna keep this one safe so Jan doesn't see it so I can actually cook with it. Then I bought these uh, Twizzler nips just because we had Twizzlers we bought in US, but we already finished them, so. And then I bought three more cooking ingredients, actually, because I honestly don't eat them just like that. I use them for cooking this cream of celery. I honestly never, like, had a cream of celery, but I know you have so many delicious chicken recipes made with cream of celery. Um, this one, this is great for the crock pot, so if you cook with crock pot, this is great. And I know in US they're about like 80 cents, and here it was about like, uh, I think it was like $1.60 in the conversion. I'll let you know exactly. I got a little discount because 
this video was not sponsored or anything. I literally just wanted to go there. Nothing, so it's not a partnership or anything. I really wanted to go to the store and just show you guys what they have over there. Um, so this cream of celery was 55 check crowns. I think that's about maybe $2 or something like that. So it's not as cheap as in the US, so it's not like as convenient, but it's not like I'm gonna use it every day. I'm gonna use it once in a while. So I got one of those. I got one cream of chicken for the exact same reason. You also use them for the crock pots. And finally, I got one of the cream of mushrooms, exact same reason. So I literally got the three soups as my um, cooking ingredient thing. This sauce was also for cooking. And this one is kind of also for cooking because I'm gonna make my own crispy treats. But it's also for eating because yum, it's so good. So that was it guys. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video if you like it. Also, you know, at the end of the video around here, I'm gonna post that grocery haul that I did in Walmart so you can see everything that we were missing from Walmart that we bought when we went there. And I know this Tuesday, I promised that I was gonna put how much it costs to live in the Czech Republic, but that's a video that required nothing, just me sitting down and talking and literally the weekend had been so horrible, the weather had been horrible and I literally just wanted to sit in the balcony and do like a nice video but I couldn't with the horrible weather. So I'm gonna leave that one probably for Friday or maybe I'm gonna leave it for the next Tuesday and this Friday I'm actually gonna do a normal what's for dinner, but it would depend. Doesn't matter. The most important thing, so you don't miss my videos, is that you like this video, of course, that you subscribe and you hit the bell button. It's very important because that way they will notify you every time I post. But if you don't wanna hit the bell button, it doesn't matter because I post always every Tuesday and every Friday despite whatever I always post every Tuesday and every Friday and that's it thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye